we are here today because of the colossal failure of Joe Union Biden, the president who has, by his own declaration, been the most union-friendly president in history. Been here since 1970. Joe Amtrak, Joe Lunchbox, whatever you want to call him, he has punted this to us to deal with his colossal mistake. And I, I, I can't wait for the rails to, to be running and make sure they have plenty of rail cars available to haul off these carloads of bovine residue that's being spread around here today because the president waded into something that he didn't, wasn't able to finish. And, and then the, the misinformation that's being proliferated here about the sick days. Why is there no mention of the actual sick days in the PEB, the number of sick days that we're adding to? In fact, we came to, to a, a resolution, myself and soon to be Chairman Graves, that codified the PEB recommendation. The 24% pay raise, 24%. Let's keep in mind that we are in a recession. I'd like for us all to get a 24% raise. But we codified a 24% raise, 14% of which would take effect immediately, the balance which would take place over the next four years, $5,000 bonus, eight of the unions of the 12 agreed. That was the PEB recommendation. And we were willing to choke that one down and say, okay, because our economy in this frail, fragile state created by President Joe Union cannot sustain a $2 billion a day economic hit. So for the good of the country, we'll choke that down. Well, then they say, well, we're going to have a cooling off period. We'll think about it. And they come back and say, nope, we're going to strike on December 9th. December 9th, we're, we're approaching winter time. How many people across the country are going to be relying on the commodities necessary to heat their homes? I don't know the millions of people that would be impacted negatively. This isn't about Christmas presents, although that's a big part of it because the economy, we're not going to have as many Christmas presents this year anyway. But on top of it, we're going to freeze people out. And these unions put a gun to the head of the American people and say, this is what we want, and we're not going to play ball. So the president's PEB, the Presidential Emergency Board, makes this recommendation. We go ahead and put legislation in place to support that. And at the 11th hour, here we are. And my friend from New Jersey, the chairman of Rail Subcommittee, said, yeah, we'll take that. We're going to add one sick day. Okay, I can live with one sick day. What I can't live with is the game they're playing legislatively. When I make a promise, we're not going to put poison pills on this bill. And then they come back after the fact and throw this 119 kicker in place. Flat out lie. And another colossal failure on the part of the outgoing speaker. Because she couldn't get the votes on her side of the aisle to vote for 100. The PEB recommendation. The PEB recommendation that the president asked for, President Joe Union. And yet here we are having to deal with 119, the additional poison pill that the speaker said would not be present in this legislation. And that's what's wrong with this institution, by the way. When people say they're going to do something, and then 20 minutes later, they reverse themselves. This came out last night, by the way, late in the evening, so no one would be aware of it. And now we're having to deal with it makes a mockery of this institution. And by the way, the authority that we have to deal with this doesn't mandate that we deal with it. It just says we have the authority. And by the way, that authority was given in 1926, almost 100 years ago. What a colossal failure on the part of the president and on the part of the speaker that we have to be here at all, wasting valuable time of this body that we could be doing so many more important things for our people in this country than having to deal with this hostage situation at a time when our economy cannot sustain it. A two billion dollar a day hit that is about ready to hit us right in the face. At a time when our folks, and particularly in the Northeast, that rely on commodities like, for example, heating oil. And we can't move it. And by the way, maybe we could move it more efficiently if our pipelines were um, working like they should be. But again, the president saw to that we don't have adequate resources in the trucking industry. 
we're at a driver shortage. We can't just rely on the trucking industry to fill that void. So again, President Joe Union Biden, Lunchbox Biden, Amtrak Biden, whatever moniker you want to go by, Mr. President, this is on you. This is your failure that you have punted into the House of Representatives to clean up your colossal mess. And with that, I yield back.